Hi and welcome back to Gamers Web. Um, today we're going to take a look at three expansions for the Doctor Who Exterminate Miniatures game from Warlord Games. Um, these are old school Who, although the Zygons have actually appeared in um, the new series of Doctor Who. Um, but basically we're going to jump right in. Alright, so um, we've got three sets, we've got the Zygons, the Sea Devils and the Draconians. All three are classic Who monsters and all made their appearances in uh, the 1970s. So first of all we're going to jump for the Zygons. Okay, Zygons are an alien race of uh, metamorphosing aliens that can shapeshift into literally any shape they want to. Um, that's the front of the box. And on the back of the box you get two Zygons and then you get the blurb, um, able to metamorphose, metamorphose into replicas of other life or live, living organisms and fire electrical charges from their hands they can stun or disintegrate uh, those that it touches uh, the Zygons were stranded on Earth centuries ago the Zygons have a mission to take over Earth as their new home after Zygor their home world was destroyed in the Time War okay I'm just gonna read that bit of blood the rest of it you can read yourself if you just pause the video okay so um, Zygons first made their appearance in the Doctor Who episode Terror of the Zygons. I'm just going to open the box so you can have a quick look inside. Uh, in 1975, that's a Tom Baker episode, The Fourth Doctor. Okay, so jump right in, we get our... Um, look at the card first. So, we have... Um, you've got three Zygon cards. Sorry, four Zygon cards, because one of them is an adventure card. Um, we have um, the Zygon, Tough, Shapeshifter and Agent. Got um, a move of four, resonance of two, a melee of plus one and a range of zero. And then got a Zygon Elite, uh, four, two, plus one, and he has a plus one uh, again on his range. And then we have the Zygon Leader, who um, He's a bit more resilient, he's got a plus one on his resilience and um, unique. He's got wounds one, tough shapeshifter, and he's a force commander Zygon. And look on the back, force commander Zygon, see the gag in the uh, time vortex. And the reinforcement is just the bog standard adventure card reinforcement. We also get with the miniatures, we get um, the uh, Zygon inversion, exhaustless card to give all Zygons the whole back trait for this turn only, and poison barbs. Um, all Zygons in your faction may use the Poison Barbs during the game. Poison Barbs uh, grant melee plus two special traits to the character. Okay, so that's the cards out of the way. Once again, we get the beautiful boxes with the Gallifreyan uh, symbol embossed on them. And then we have two Zygons and two plastic bases. Although, for some reason, I've only got one plastic base in there, which doesn't matter because I've got quite a lot of them. Alright, so. Um, these haven't been cleaned up. All I've done is take them out of the box to check that there are, the miniatures were inside them. Okay, so here's a Zygon. Just getting in focus. Really lovely looking guy, isn't he? That's the first one. And the attention to detail is fantastic on these models. They're really good. Um, the next one is looking a little bit more menacing. Grr, arr, grr. Yeah, he looks like he's about to uh, step off the back of a Buffy end title, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Zygons. Um, again, they are um, they're quite a good race to play, um, but they're, they're a bit limited. The thing that they have that makes them stand out more than any other race is their um, shapeshift ability which allows you to mimic other races so um, that's quite a good one okay so the next one we're going to go to the draconians because I'm going to leave the sea devil to last because they're one of my favorites okay so um, there's the front of the box of the draconians draconians first appeared in the episode frontier of space in 1973 in the third doctor episode and the draconians um, helped the doctor um, defeat the master who had um, teamed up with the Daleks, of all things. In this we get three Draconians. Um, the Draconians are a race of reptilian humanoids encountered by the Third Doctor, hailing from the planet Draconia. They are um, formable, a formal monarchy-led race, adhering to the rules laid down by their Emperor. Uh, Draconians are tall, with pointed ears, and covered with scaly skin. They 
when, oh, let me see. Um, those when meet are greeted with the phrase, my life at your, is at your command. Okay, okay. So they teamed up with the master. Uh, sorry, the doctor teamed up with the draconians to be the master. I may actually be uh, slightly out there because I haven't seen the episode since about 1988. Um, just getting the card out. Okay, so um, once again we have um, dropped the cards on the table. Why well, not yet? We have um, Draconian Noble. Six for his move, three for his resilience, three for his um, uh, melee, and plus two for his uh, range, ranged. He's got wounds two, unique, brave, concentrated fire, force commander draconium, and all the rules are all on the back. And um, he's got a six inch ranged uh, pistol that does five damage, that's quite nasty. Okay, so that's the noble out of the way. Um, like the Zygons, we have a Draconian Reinforcements card, which, again, turn it over as an adventure card. And then we have um, the Bodyguard for the Draconians. Uh, 6, 2, 2, 2. And he's got um, Concentrated Fire, which, again, is in the Time Vortex rules. All these cards are stuck together. The box must have got damp. Okay, and Draconian Soldier, that's your basic foot soldier. 6, 2, 1, 1. And you can have three, there's three of those in a unit. Right, and then, so you could field, um, because there's three models in the box, you could field um, the commander, and the noble, and the bodyguard as um, one full box. And then we have precision fire, uh, exotic card to allow the Trigorian factions shooting actions to get a plus one combat die for, uh, to their attack. And then... The other one is for the glory of Draconia. Uh, discard this card after all Draconian characters on the table. Uh, allow all Draconian characters on the table to ignore shot results this turn. They will automatically remove all under fire tokens and will not receive any additional tokens in the current turn. Which is um, pretty good. Okay, right, so on to the Draconians. Again, we're coming to the um, little blue um, embossed box. And I'm just going to and open this. And again, I haven't cleaned any of these up. Those are the three bases in this box. And this one's a really nice model. I like this one. This is the uh, Draconian Noble. Great detail on that. The sculpt is fantastic on that one. One of the best sculpts I've seen in the Doctor Who range. Um, really great sculpt on it. Which I can't say for the other two. <laughs> Okay, and there's all these guards. And then, um, they're not bad sculpts, um, but they're not as good as some of the others. Um, so this guy's in a running pose with his gun. He's one of the bodyguards. Um, he's got a tiny, tiny bit of flash on him, which um, I didn't notice on his base, and underneath his sleeve. And then the third one is this gentleman here. If I can pick him up. Right. The legs are very spindly on them, but they're meant to be very tall. And um, again, a little tiny amount of flash. For white metal, the flash is like negligible. Compared to, say, uh, the old Games Workshop miniatures when they were all casting white metal, when you spent most of your time actually trying to file them down to get rid of all the, um, the white metal of them. Okay, the sprue, sorry. I will get there eventually. The flash. Right, okay, so finally we go on to the Sea Devils. Now, these are one of my favourite um, monsters in Doctor Who history. They look amazing. I really love the look on these. Uh, these first appeared in um, the Doctor Who episode, The Sea Devils. And again, these guys teamed up with the Master. Well, the Master woke them from um, their uh, long sleep. They've been sleeping dormant for millennia um, because they're one of the dominant life forms on Earth. They are a cousin race to the Silurians, and um, when the dinosaurs all got wiped out, um, they kind of went into torpor and um, kind of went to sleep. Okay, so we'll look at the back. You get three models, and the models are brilliant. These were the first renders I ever saw for the Doctor Who miniature game. Okay, um, amphibious re relatives of the Silurians, the Sea Devils, are also a prehistoric race that went into hibernation millions of years ago uh, in the 
reaction to the discovery of Earth and the Moon. Uh, sorry, in reaction to the discovery of the Earth and the Moon, we're on collision course. Luckily, this uh, catastrophe did not occur, but by the hibernation, but the hibernation persisted. Like the Silurians, they determined to reclaim the Earth for uh, from the human interlopers. Okay, so the third Doctor first encountered the Sea Devils as they allied with the renegade Time Lord, the Master, in the episode The Sea Devils. Okay, so that's also the episode that um, featured uh, the Loch Ness Monster, I think, as well. Okay, so we're going to quickly get into the pack. Sorry for showing you a blank screen. Right. And there's the box. Right, I'm going to look at the miniatures first and then I'll look at the cards. Okay, again, three bases, and they come with um, the three of the miniatures. Okay, so here's the first of the miniatures, and these look absolutely fantastic. They've got the, like, the parrot-like head of the sea devil. Can't wait to paint these up. I really can't. And all three of these packs, um, I took... Um, advantage of Warlord Games um, New Year sale and I got all three of them uh, at half price so I paid £18 for all three of them which was uh, fantastic that's the um, leader great, all the chain mail on them and then finally we've got another one here I can pick him out of the box without dropping him there he goes again, these have actually got very little flash on them at all there he is. Okay, and on the back. Really great models, great attention to detail on them. And the animation on them is fantastic. Okay, so jumping right into the cards. We have the Sea, Le sea Devil Overlord. He's unique, he's got one wound, he's aquatic. He's got concentrated fire, force commander, Sea Devil. He's got a move of five, um, resilience of four, a close combat of three, and a range of two, and two fate tokens. Now, aquatic is a very good rule. Aquatic allows you to um, basically move through water as if it's just normal terrain. And if you've got two bodies of water on your terrain table, um, the sea devils can really make good use of that because they can go into one and come out of the other. Uh, no matter how far apart they are, it doesn't matter. Um, um, and we've got the Sea Devil Ancients. Five, four, two, and two. And again, aquatic and concentrated fire. Um, sea Devils, that's just your basic bond the troop. Five, three, two, two. And it's an agent. And then the Sea Devils reinforcements. Okay, okay. So they've got the heat ray, improvised weapon, aquatic, concentrated fire. And that's for the, the Sea Devil Overlord only. Right, and then we have our two adventure cards. We have Sonic Summoning. Eerie Sonic Pulses summon additional sea, sea Devils to the scene. Discard this card to return up to three exterminated Sea Devil characters to the game. They must be played within the friendly deployment area. And Terrors from the Deep. Exhaust this card in the friendly movement or shooting subphase to move up to four Sea Devil characters from one water obstacle to another, wherever it is on the table. Uh, the Sea Devils... New location cannot be more than two inches away from any enemy, to, any, any enemy, enemy character. Okay, so that's just a quick look at the um, the Sea Devils, the Zygons, and the Draconians for the Doctor Who uh, Exterminate Miniatures game. Um, what do you think? Let me know. Um, are you enjoying these unboxings? Um, are they a waste of time? Um, I'm enjoying doing them, so I'm going to carry on. Right, as always, I've been Mark. Oh, before I go, um, these are available from Warlord Games directly. Um, you go onto the link on the Warlords webpage and click on the uh, TARDIS icon in the top corner of the page that keeps on appearing and disappearing. And that'll take you to the uh, Into the Time to Vortex portal where you can order the miniatures. Or you can get them um, from your local game shop, most likely. Okay, as always, I've been Mark. Gamers Web. For gamers, by gamers.